One of the key challenges for doctors is to decide which treatment is going to work and avoid treatments that are just going to cause toxicity, side effects, and a huge cost for patients, families, and also for the health system. We have always relied on trial and error. We know that a drug can cause a benefit, can induce a benefit into a patient, but we don't know whether that specific drug will actually work in that specific patient. And this is the hurdle we are trying to overcome by using this personalized approach. The whole concept about organoids is to recreate and recapitulate in the lab what is happening in the patient, ideally in order to anticipate, predict which treatments will work in a specific patient. So we have the opportunity to grow uh, mini tumors in the lab by taking a small piece of the tumor from the patient through a standard biopsy. We will see uh, something growing, which is a 3D structure, which is very, very similar of the original parental tumor that is coming from the patient. The patient was getting a certain treatment in the clinic and in parallel, we were getting material through a biopsy, growing this mini tumor in the lab, and then matching and comparing what we observed in the lab with the results we were observing in the real patient in the clinic. We observed that these mini tumors are very accurate in telling us if a drug is not working. In 100% of cases where the drug was not working in the lab, was in fact not working in the patient, and in about 85-90% of cases when the drug was working in the lab, was also working in the patients. So this is the kind of approach we can exploit to inform clinical decisions. In the past, a number of different research groups have tested drugs in mice, so implanting tumor in mice. Mice are a fantastic resource because they can provide information about microenvironment, about what is around the tumor itself. But the key challenge is related to the timing of the results, uh, the effectiveness, the cost, the logistics. So we might be able, we are able to provide results almost in real time and feedback these results to clinicians like myself to inform clinical decisions, while with mice it would take months to, to get to the same results. These mini tumors represent a pure cancer cell population, but we do know that in patients the situation is more complicated than that because the microenvironment, so tissues surrounding the cancer itself, are equally important to provide an answer in terms of response to the treatment. And so we are trying to recreate in the lab the whole metastatic niche, so not just the tumor per se, but also the inflammation that is around the tumor, the vasculature that is around the tumor, so we can provide even more reliable and accurate information. Our focus as a team is on bowel, stomach, liver cancer, but obviously the same technology has been applied, is being applied also in other cancers like breast cancer, lung cancer, gynecological cancers. So there is a broad range of applications that goes beyond bowel and stomach. In terms of our steps, the future moves will be to sort out clinical trials where we can allocate patients prospectively into a specific treatment based on what we observed in the lab. Our patients opted in uh, to get the biopsy done even when they were progressing to the treatment. And there was no benefit whatsoever for them to get an extra biopsy. They were not candidate for further treatment, but still they accepted to, to give tissue for research. And I think this is a massive uh, acknowledgement I owe to patients and families. We will have data probably in the next few years because it takes time to set up the trials and then to get the results. But the validation of our study is already ongoing in terms of developing clinical trials and then uh, allocating patients to treatment based on our findings. I do see the future use of organoids in clinical trials mainly because in clinical practice it would be too challenging to screen all the patients for all the treatments. 
but this is also a good way in terms of drug discovery to find novel targets, starting from patient-derived material as well.